Are you feeling like the FE exam is complex and out of reach? Well, stay tuned because in today's video, I'm going to share why you need to rethink your FE study process and how to simply prepare for the FE exam. Oh, yeah. The FE exam tests your fundamental knowledge of engineering concepts. While that sounds straightforward, as you begin to find out, it requires you to learn 13 to 17 different subjects based on which FE exam you're taking. And the further you've been out of school, the more challenging this is going to be. But challenging doesn't mean it has to be complicated. You don't have to make it harder just because it is so significant. I know passing your FE exam faster and excelling in your career is very important to you. And that leads to lots of pressure and thinking that this whole experience needs to be hard, but it doesn't. You can learn everything you need to know with focus and clarity, and you can simplify this whole process and make it as easy as possible. Here are three ways to simplify the FE prep, what I like to call the three S's. The first S we have is schedule. Before you start studying, decide how long you want to prepare for the FE. And there's really no right or wrong answer here. It just depends on your schedule. We had students who did it three months, some in four months, and others spread it out over six months. We have also created FE study plans. You can download them here and pick the timeline that works for you. The second S we have is study material. Gather all the study material that you're gonna be using to study for your FE exam. That might include books, courses, or YouTube videos. When you have all the study material before you start studying, you won't waste time searching for problems. Instead, you're gonna use that time to study and learn the material. Now, keep in mind that your study material might change. For example, let's say you purchase an FE book or a course, and then you start studying. Two weeks later, you realize that you're not learning a lot, you're always stuck, and you're not really progressing. In that case, you should stop and reassess your study material because you don't want to waste time and energy on something that's not going to help you achieve your goal. Remember, the FE exam is challenging, but don't make it harder on yourself. Get a study material that's going to make your life easier. If you want to know how to start preparing for your FE exam, check out this link here where I'll be covering the exact steps to take to pass your FE exam this year. Now the third S we have is study plan. After you have your timeline and all your study material, the next thing you should do is make a detailed study plan. You should plan out when you will be studying and which subjects you will be covering every week. This way, it will be easy for you to show up and study. Because remember, you want to make this whole process as easy as possible. So if you plan everything ahead, it will be easier for you to show up and study. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and before you go, make sure to watch this video here where I talk about which practice exams you should take that will help you pass your FE. Also, don't forget to like and subscribe and make sure to come back here every week for free problems, study tips and motivation to help you pass faster. Now, thank you guys for watching. I hope you have a great week and I will see you on the next video. A la prochaine. Oh yeah,